Hey folks, Michael Collins here again from EnviroReporter.com on March 6, 2012. Well, you can see what time it is. It is time to measure radiation in our HEPA filters here in Santa Monica at Radiation Station. Uh, we're here in the west part of the greater Los Angeles basin. We're pretty much upwind generally of the rest of the uh, LA basin, so we're a good indicator for radiation readings. As you know, reading our work on EnviroReporter.com and our latest work, Beta Watch, uh, having to do with this, uh, the Fukushima fallout in America, you'll see that we are not being affected by radon progeny or so-called radon daughters. These is na this is naturally occurring uh, radiation, it's just as dangerous as uh, a lot of radiation, uh, the decay product of uh, radon gas which is uh, prevalent when you have a lot of uranium, thorium, um, uh, and radium in the soil. We do not have that here in Santa Monica, and there's a map that even shows that. So what we're detecting here is our hot particles. Uh, these are probably uh, uranium-60 buckyballs, which we also describe the phenomenon of in a beta watch. Now. Uh, so let's just take a look here. We've taken a background and it should be about 37.7 and uh, here's our inspector. Let it calm down a little bit. It's about, uh, this it has a 30 second average the inspector. It, uh, it is a little higher now because it's next to these filters. It uh, av rechanges its average every three seconds so it's a rolling 30 second average and it should be right around there 40 uh, but it's uh, right now after a uh, 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 background we have a 37.7 counts per minute uh, here so let's see what we've got now one thing I want to point out you see how far away we are from these detectors we're about we're about half a foot away we're not seeing overage here so it's when I get close to these we're going to see that and that says to us that we have either beta or alpha radiation and um, uh, we're moving this filter over and um, we can tell between the beta and alpha radiation how much uh, pretty much that we have. So let's just see, you got to get real close to pick up the alpha. About a half an inch to an inch and a half. Here we go. These filters have been filtering the air here for 33 days. Last time we did this, it was for 42 days. That's something to keep in mind. We're way over double background now. This is a Kenmore plasma wave HEPA filter. We got this on March 19th, 2011, a week after the meltdowns had begun, eight days actually. And I'm moving the filter around versus moving the inspector around to make it easier for you to keep the eye on the inspector. It's one of the best uh, purchases Denise Ann and I have ever made because what you're seeing being detected here is not going into our lungs. Now we are about double background. You know from following our site and other readings that uh, triple background is considered a hazmat situation uh, triggers hazmat procedures for the California Highway Patrol and here we've come up to about double a little over double so that's this uh, Kenmore Plasma Wave HEPA filter and what we're going to do is when I'm done spot checking this I'm going to uh, vacuum everything and get it all in a pile and then we'll test everything together this is our Honeywell barrel style HEPA filter going 33 days taken off 118 130, 142. Now I've actually run this around this 
uh, NEPA filter, and it's pretty high all the way around. This Los Angeles is what we're breathing. We now know the mechanism for what could be the transportation of much of the radioactive goo that's sloshing into the Pacific over at Fukushima Daiichi. A meltdown, triple meltdown that's been going on now for nearly a year. We know that when water hits the fuel, Fukushima Daiichi, that the water hits the exposed fuel and is turned into peroxide of all things. Not the kind of peroxide you definitely want to go and bleach your hair in. But it creates these things called buckyballs. Buckyballs are named after Westminster Fuller who created the Buckminster Fuller, pardon me, not Westminster, Buckminster Fuller. He created the geodesic dome and it, they, these little buckyballs are nanoparticles that look like that. And what they do is, is they get up to 60 uranium isotopes of different types uh, and uh, kind of create a cage around them. And uh, this allows for greater mobility of these very heavy isotopes. And uh, by the way, we're still at 142 for a high here. And this study came out in late January, and Viroreporter.com got a handle, hand on it. Uh, came out of UC Davis, University of California at Davis. And um, top-notch team. And this could be what we're seeing here now. We can tell the difference between alpha and beta and gamma detections with our instrument. But we cannot tell you the exact isotope that we are picking up in these HEPA filters of air that uh, people in Los Angeles are breathing. We're going to change that. We're starting a fund, an ISO topic identify, identifier fund. It's for a different kind of nuclear radiation detector. It will tell you in real time exactly what you're picking up. I mean, it'll tell you, is this cesium-137? Is this uranium? What, what do we got here? The government's not doing it, so we're going to do it. But we're going to be right back after vacuuming these HIPAA filters clean. Uh, obviously, we want to know what the total count is. We got up to 142. Looks like we might have hit another hot spot here. Uh, but we also want to keep these things clean so they're super efficient and suck as much of this goo out of the air as possible because I don't want to breathe it and my lovely young bride doesn't want to breathe it either. Now we'll just let this tick a little bit. This is the sound of Los Angeles air. And we'll be right back. Hey folks, Michael Collins back again on March 6, 2012 in Viral Reporter's Radiation Station Santa Monica. As you can see, we vacuumed these two filters for our HEPA filters. And now it's time to take this stuff and measure it. <clears throat> see <clears throat> how hot it may be. So... This also means it will have much better suction on the uh, HEPA filters. It will remove this goo before it gets to us. Now, let's just take a look. We know that uh, the previous background in here was 37.7. This is 33 days worth of aggregate dust in the Santa Monica Basin. It is... Uh, uh, not impacted by radon progeny. This stuff is coming out of the air and the most likely suspect is the disaster in Japan, the triple meltdowns at Fukushima Daiichi. So let's just see we're not picking up that much gamma yet, but it is picking it up. 
you know, alpha and beta emitters do emit some gamma. So let's just get on in there and see what we got. Over double background. And make sure I don't get this detector gooed up. 130, 148, 180, 190, 216, higher than last time, blessed days, 216 topper, 220, were many multiples over background. California Highway Patrol, I said. Anything over three times background, you got a hazmat situation. This is the dust out of two HEPA filters on a fairly, uh, you know, particulate wise clean part of Los Angeles by the ocean. That whole dynamic has changed. We're closer to where the buckyballs come slurping in. At a 220 high. Now, the closer I get, it really goes up. That's alpha, folks. Alpha 226, 228, 248. Higher than last time. That was 42 days. This is 33, 248's high. Now, you live in LA. Don't you think you want to start paying attention to this? Maybe taking efforts to mitigate your exposure to Fukushima fallout? Because here it is. I'm holding it in my hand. Now, we want to find out what these isotopes are. Because when we do find out what they are, that's going to create even more pressure for the government to actually do the testing that we're doing. We're doing it as a new media concern, and we're reporting this to you, and we're happy to do it. But folks, i got to tell you, how many billions of dollars do we spend on subsidizing the nuclear reactor industry billions a year maintaining nuclear weapons to protect our country billions and billions a year over 500 billion for the next 10 years and not a nickel for doing what I'm doing here that can change you go to enviralreporter.com you look under hot news you find the link to our isotopic, isotopic identification fund, the IIF. And I'll tell you what's in this stuff. Because guess what? We save it all. We're going to go back and test everything when we get this device. And let me tell you, there are enough people like you out there who are sick and tired of not knowing what is going on in this country that all of you are going to contribute a little bit and we're going to get to that goal. We're not going to spend a nickel of it until we have the full amount and we're buying the whole kit and caboodle. This is supposed to be 37 folks. Get closer. Oh boy, does she take off. This is Alpha. Alpha is up to 60 to 1,000 times more dangerous than Beta or Gamma. And I'm getting right in on it, and it's telling me Alpha. 252. We've topped it. So, that's where we're at. Look for our write up. We'll tell you all about it. Help us get that isotopic identifier, and we'll change the face of radiation detection and reporting in the United States and Canada. Michael Collins, EnviroReporter.com, out.